the fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're in Memphis, Tennessee. You can see the mighty Mississippi behind these two wonderful RV travelers. We've got Bonnie and Grant from a wanderfilledlife.com. And what their focus is, actually they do RV travel, like your whole summer's RVing, right? Indeed, we and spend the whole summer in the camper traveling the US. And this is what Jocelyn wants us to do. She keeps writing me, Mark, we've got to do an RV trip because she used to do RV trips like every summer when she was a kid. And so she's like, Mark, you have to do it. You have to do it. We've got to do it. We've got to take the kids. It's a great way to see the US. But I'm kind of like, man, it's a big trucky thingy. I don't know. <laughs> and it's kind of scary. And I'm sure there's some of you out there that are like, man, I, I want to do this. I kind of want to do this. So I figured I'd ask some experts here about give me four reasons, four reasons why I should do an RV trip with a summer with my kids. All right, Mark, number one. Number one. You're taking your house with you. So you only ever have to unpack once. You have all of the goodies, all of your favorite spices. You have room for your favorite beverages. You, can ha you have a refrigerator to keep everything cold. You get to save money, not only on hotel rooms, but on eating out because you can cook every single night so that especially for those folks out there with families or if you're like us that don't really have a great grilling space i get to grill every night and it cool. it, it, it just it's perfect That's and cool. i'm not limited to one suitcase i can pack <laughs> lots of clothes and shoes and you're limited somewhat by the space the size of your camper or rv but much more there that you can work with that's cool. Okay, so that's our first one. So what's some other stuff? Give me some other ones. Because, you know, that convinced me right there. I'm like, I can take my own beverages? <laughs> yeah. I like that. And so what about, is there like a, a freedom? Because I think there's that, Jocelyn's big thing is that freedom aspect. And you were saying something about that. Okay, look, pure and simple. A again, this is a house you take with you. So you can take it anywhere. You don't even necessarily have to stay in a campground. Huh, yeah. There are plenty of places out there where you can do what's called boondocking, where you go out and you stay in the middle of nowhere and you've got nothing what but space yep. around you huh. along yep. with your a bed, bed, all your clothes. Don't forget those refreshing beverages. The refreshing beverages and the AC. And the, the AC. AC. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, that's cool. So what else? What else we have? You were telling me something about... Well, I'll let you tell the next one because she had a really good one. Yellowstone National Park. Easily my favorite place to go ever. Um, hotel rooms can be expensive. They're not always easy to find, especially if you're trying to go last minute. Um, lots of options with campgrounds. You may not want to sleep in a tent though. Um, so there you go. You can be right there in the middle of it. You're not having to drive 30 minutes or an hour outside the park every single day. You're right there in the middle of it. You might have bison walking through your campground probably going to feel a lot safer about that yeah I would feel much safer in a camper, in a camper than a versus a tent and huh. been there done that you'd rather be in a camper I'm not gonna <laughs> lie one of our favorite moments from our trip last year where we stayed at Fishing Bridge RV Park in Yellowstone National Park was driving out to go animal watch at dusk yeah. and not that far is Hayden Valley we drove up and there's a spot in Hayden Valley where everybody's got lawn chairs and they're looking out on, on the field. We can pull up, ask what's going on. Well, we're watching a pack of six wolves chase some elk across the valley. Wow. And we got to sit there and watch as wolves chased elk across the <laughs> valley. This was a 10 minute drive from our campground, from our RV, and that made all the difference in the world. If we had, if we were staying out in Cody or West Yellowstone or Gardner, we never would have seen it because it would have awesome. taken an hour to get there just yeah. from those spots. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so you're getting me excited. Okay, I don't want Jocelyn to know about this, but you know, right. it's kind of okay. It sounds like it'd be fun, especially the National Park stuff, but yes. but I mean, I, it seems like it's a pretty big investment. Like, if I'm not sure, like, do, do you buy it or do you rent it or what, what do you recommend? Okay, so you can rent and okay. if you're really unsure, right? like I'm like, uh, maybe, if you're sitting on the fence, rent it for a week okay. and, and, and try it out. But just know, renting is expensive. Okay. It, it's easily as expensive as a hotel room plus a car rental plus mileage so oh so the benefits it, you were talking about before like well, the it, financial it, ones aren't there if you're they renting. aren't there right. if you're renting okay. but if you're concerned about taking the plunge into owning 
Yeah. Basically a second home. Oh, okay. Right. It is a second home. And, and that's helpful from tax purposes. <laughs> right. Um, okay. The, the point is, is that you want to try it before you buy it. Right. So yeah. get out there, try it out, see how you like it, but don't spend an entire summer like we do in a rented RV. Okay. You're going to spend right. way, way too much money. Okay. Yeah. Um, and legitimately, depending on how you want to go, whether you want one that you can drive or one that you tow is going to determine what your investment is like. Okay. Um, if you're going for one that you can tow, if you've got already got a solid truck, yeah. Then go for a towable. Then, then go for a towable sure. because yeah. we've got, already, solid, got the truck. We got, we already got the truck. Right, so. you've got the truck. Then you're just pulling something behind it. You're only dealing with one engine to keep up with. Okay. Right. Um, it, it, yeah, it's some, some people just prefer a drivable one. If right. you've already got that lightweight sedan that you could easily tow, okay. get a drivable one and, okay. and pull your car behind you. Huh. Um, so, you know, and, and then again, just personal preference. Do you want to be able to get up and walk to the back to make a sandwich? Or are you okay having to stop to no, make I a sandwich? No, I hate stopping. I hate stopping. That's cool. Well, okay, so tell, tell everybody. So look at the camera. Where, where can they find you? What other stuff do you guys focus on to give them ideas so they can come check you out? So they can okay. Find you. So you can find us at www.wander, and that's wander with an A, wanderfilledlife.com. Um, you can also find us on social media. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. Uh, and we're, we're on, on Pinterest. Pinterest. So <laughs> you can find us out there. When you come to our site, you're going to find a lot of stuff about national parks. That's something that we love. That's yeah. near and dear to our heart. We have been to 189 out of 417 units of National Park Service. And we're getting many more this summer. So. Exactly. This summer, follow along with us because we are going to go see every single national park site in Washington State. We're going to spend the entire summer exploring Washington State and a little bit of Oregon, but we we really want to drill in and see all of those national recreation areas, all the national parks, all the national historic sites. We're going to see everything from beautiful mountains in the Pacific Northwest to the Manhattan Project National Historic Site, which has one of the nuclear reactors where they helped build the first atomic bombs. So we, we're going to... the 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 breadth of what we're going to see is amazing awesome and all from the comfort of your own home indeed yes. that's yes. awesome <laughs> so if you want this stuff i have all the links below and the more information so their social media their website things like that super nice people we've had a few beers this weekend here <laughs> in memphis oh uh, then they've been tasty they've been tasty and they've had a memphis. few barbecues yes oh, oh yes. barbecue we're yeah. all going on a diet <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, yes yes uh, exactly i'm going on a diet <laughs> <laughs> well in spirit i will be there with you <laughs> <laughs> anyway so definitely check them out if you want to learn more about here in memphis or well the only thing i have this south pacific northwest where they're going i have like a five love and hates of seattle what's eaten seattle and some vancouver Ooh. stuff yeah we'll but, be checking that out yeah, before we get there, there you go. Indeed. but seriously for them national park stuff rvn these guys are awesome i've really enjoyed talking to them, and they're very honest with the reviews which yes. i really appreciate and if you're watching our videos you appreciate that so i'll just say thank you thank and you have Mark. a safe trip out west yes. i'm jealous uh, so it'll be good and we'll say bye from memphis bye, bye.